Hello and welcome to the session of how to define fixed time point in analog card using hypermesh operation in the profile. So in this session we will see analog card definition then an example on fixed time point and after that we will see a result comparison in a hyper view. So first we will let us uh, first we will see what is analog card. So analog card controls the incremental result output for nonlinear analysis. So analog card are various uh, fields so let us see one by one. So we have a field name ID that is uh, analog card uh, bulk data entry which has a unique ID. Then we have called field name uh, NINT that is number of intervals specified for the incremental results. Now for example if you define NINT as a 10 so it will write down 10 incremental results in output file. Then we have uh, SVN, ON, CNV that is save non-convergence. So it is used to uh, define or it is used to publish output uh, for the non-convergent solution if the non-linear solution will not converge. Uh, then we have a frequency field which defines the frequency at which the intermediate results are going to uh, in the output file. Then uh, we have the field name time. So it is a uh, reference to the uh, set of time points at which the incremental results will save in the output file with the help of set entities. Now we will see an example on fixed time point in and out. Uh, so let us open hypermesh. This is the example we are going to consider this uh, for this uh, tutorial. So uh, loads and boundary conditions are predefined in this model. So let us check whether the components are defined with the material and property or not. So as we can see the components are redefined with material and property. So uh, we have a load collector name NL param and an adapt like that. Those are the nonlinear cards. So NL param card used to activate nonlinear solution and NL adapt card is an adaptive control card. So to, def to create an allowed card, right click on the model browser, click on create and then click on load collector. This will create a load collector. Let us name an allowed time and then uh, in card image select nl out card image so here we have a non-linear incremental output as a blank so change it to time uh, then it is asked for the set time id so to create a time set right click on the set time and click on create so it will create a set let us name as a time set. So in this, uh, we have to uh, define the number of time points we have. We are going to define. So I'm going to define as a five, and I'm in the time uh, table. Define data points like I'm going to define with point two interval. After defining the point table, click on close. So uh, we have to assign an allowed card in the load step. So the load step is nonlinear static analysis. So it is already defined with the boundary condition SPC and the load with NL, NL param card and NL adapt card. So search for an allowed card and define the NL out card. After defining the NL out card, uh, let us export this file and run this file in OptiStruct Solver. So I have already solved this model in OptiStruct and I load the results in Hyperview. So I am going to open Hyperview. So this is model with the time set. So, so to view the results, click on Contour. You click on uh, set the result type as displacement and click on apply. So here we can see here the load factor as a point two, point four, point six, point eight, and one. Uh, it is as according to the we have defined in uh, set like data points point two, point four. So if you click on the point two, and we have a, a displacement according to the load factor of point two. 
and if you change that to let's see 0.6 so it will change it to uh, 3.96 and the load factor is 0.6 so this is the, the basic difference in the uh, uh, between in and out card and the fixed endpoint card thank you very much